Roblox just finally fixed this, Rules just confirmed more events and another The Hunt event, and more wild news today. So if you're new, please subscribe. Most of you aren't even and we're trying to reach 400,000 subs soon, so please subscribe and let's get into it. And firstly, let's start with Roblox doing something really good and something that they finally fixed. But I'm sure you guys probably heard about over the past like, week or so, Roblox Mobile completely broke across like every country. For some reason, when most people went to play Roblox Mobile, it would just tell them no network error, even if they had perfect Wi-Fi, and so much people couldn't play Rolls over these past few days. And in general, it was a pretty big issue because like I said, people literally couldn't play no matter what they did. Some people were stuck in loading, some people couldn't get past the no network thing, and Rolls was completely unplayable and completely broken. And with that, so much people were spamming Roblox, begging them to fix it because they couldn't play, and millions of people literally couldn't play Rolls because of this. Because on top of all this, I know like the Vietnam servers broke, so Rolls was just completely broken. But with that being said, they did fix some of this. Blox News here tweeted us saying that if you were encountering a no network pop-up when attempting to open up the Roblox app on iOS, updated to the latest version to resolve the issue. So yeah, it's actually very good. Roblox heard all the complaints and all like the issues going on and they announced that if you update Roblox now, it should fix everything, which honestly very good. And honestly, this year, I think Roblox has such good communication and the way they respond to issues have been so good because we've seen issues happen with Roblox Mobile like a lot. It's very common, honestly. And usually Rolls never speaks out about the issues or anything like that. And sometimes people have to wait months for it just to get fixed because even if they make enough noise, Rolls just doesn't listen to them. But in this situation, in like a few days, Rolls got it fixed and they listen like right away and there's an update right now. So if you update your phone and stuff, if you're having this issue, it should be fixed automatically, which is honestly very good from Roblox and in general, it's a pretty big issue that finally got fixed. With that being said though, like I mentioned just previously, VNAB servers are also very broken, and I am still not sure if Roblox fixed them. From what I've seen, they still seem to be pretty broken, which is pretty unfortunate. But luckily with this update, I hope this means that they're also working on fixing that as well. And if you go to the Roblox status page, it does say that there is some issues going on right now, but I think most of them are being fixed or have been fixed, so it's very good right now from them. And like I mentioned, they're pretty quick to respond to this. I know it's been a few days and obviously, you know, people can't play for a few days, it's pretty bad, but for Roblox, they never really fix anything that quick, so they're on the situation pretty quick and right now, if you had this issue, all you have to do is update the Roblox app and you should be fine. But anyways, with that being said, next we have another insane story because Roblox has dropped a bombshell. They confirmed more events, they confirmed another Hunt Edition and some more drama actually. It's actually insane. So Rolls here tweeted out saying that the Hunt First Edition lasted two great weeks, but its impact will be felt much longer as it helps us plan for future events. From our own data to ideas and from users to creators, we're working on making events even better. And then they dropped a blog post, which I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know Rolls still did a blog post, but in this blog post, he also put so much more information. It's a super long blog post, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm gonna just show you some of the most interesting stuff I've seen. So firstly, they gave some highlights and just some interesting stuff off to a good start where they said stuff like, 100 of our top experiences had brand new quests, including doors, arsenal, piggy, catalog, avatar creator, and then they also talked about video stars and stuff like that. And they also say, we we're excited to see how much fan made content emerge. For example, users created guides on the hardest and easiest ways to complete, as well as tips and tricks on how to beat the quest, which is a very cool shout out, you know, to the community right there. And if you continue reading, they dropped a pretty big bombshell here saying this. So think of the Hunt First Station as a lightweight entry into the community wide events. In the coming months and years, we'll continue our new series and explore fresh teams and ideas that will rattle up our community. So yeah. Roblox once again to confirm the events coming this year and throughout these next three months, but also apparently they're planning for the next few years and it seems like. So Roblox events are fully back. I know a lot of people were concerned that Roblox might go back to just canceling events and stuff like that, but it seems like Roblox is fully committed this time. And as we can see here, they're planning on doing events throughout this entire year and the years after that, which is very good, honestly, and a very good step in the right direction. It seems like Rolls is finally out of that whole corporate mindset. And you know, they're going head on into the community approach, which is the best approach in my opinion. Now with that being said, there are some pretty interesting and some pretty bad stuff about this post because let me just read it out here. So at the end here, they put like a looking into the future thing where they said this, we've learned a ton from the Hunt first edition and we've already thinking about how to apply lessons to future events. Throughout the process, our community provided valuable feedback on what energized them and the iterations they'd like to see in the future of community events, among the insights that'll help us plan great future community events. And then they list a bunch of stuff that they think people want. And you're probably thinking, how is this bad? It seems like good that they're taking in feedback. Well, the first thing they said was this, users love trying out a broad range of new experiences. Who told Roblox that we love this? That was like the one thing everyone hated. Most people hated playing 95 badges or 95 games, sorry, to get 95 badges just to get like five items. People did not enjoy 
playing a massive range of experience like this. I don't know who told Roblox this was a good idea and who like told them that we like this. Obviously there are people who like it, but people don't like having a broad range of experiences because it just makes it more annoying and it opens up for less quality actually because a lot of the games just make it pay to win and stuff like that. So I really hope Roblox doesn't take that feedback into consideration because that will literally doom all the future events. But with that being said, the next few points they made are actually stuff that seems like we want. Like them saying, they appreciated the nod to past events, including the infinite egg for those who completed 95 quests, which is true. I think the 95 quest thing was pretty bad, but the overall gesture of it was really cool. And then they say, getting our creator and influence communities involved in advance, help them get excited and turn in, to reach out to players and audiences, this drove more engagement, which yeah, was pretty good. And then lastly, they said a pretty good point once again of that, we'll work closely with the creators in the future to define press practices for events like these. So yeah, that's a very, very, very good point that people have really been begging roles to do. Take more consideration with the creators so every game is actually proper. Because as we've seen with every dev hunt, and this one too, a lot of creators use this opportunity to just make the most money possible and make their games who are pay to win and annoying. So hopefully this means that roles will do more quality control. So most of the feedback they actually listened to, except the first one. And then lastly, with that being said, right at the end of the post, they say another big bombshell where they said that we're now working on new tools to help creators hold their own events tied to major moments you want to share with audiences, which is kind of crazy. But then they also say, in the meantime, we'll continue learning from our ever evolving community and we can't wait for the next iteration of the hunt. So stay tuned. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Not only did roles confirm more events coming this year, but they literally said the next iteration of the hunt event. So the hunt second edition is a hunt 100% confirmed now. Over this past few weeks or so and ever since the hunt event ended, there been so much speculation of people saying that there might be a hunt edition or another edition and some people saying that there's not going to be another edition but it's confirmed right here. There literally is going to be another edition. They said it straightforward right there which is pretty insane. This entire blog post is filled with so much information and so much crucial information and for the most part it seems like it's going to actually be really good. Roblox is listening to the feedback from the community. Roblox said they're going to do more events and events are fully back and it's 100% confirmed that we're getting events where they listen to feedback Back, so they have potential to be very good. Very good step in the right direction from Roblox there and I'm very excited to see the next events. But with that being said, our next story of just some funny random Roblox drama. Where as we can see here, Roblox released this new item called the Hydro Blaster Water Gun and it's pretty interesting. Like we haven't really seen a particle effect like this before. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like someone's just peeing. Like I'm just gonna say it straight up. But with that being said, if you read the comments, a lot of people think this item is number one, just kind of weird. But number two, a lot of people are concerned because they think the community might use this in an inappropriate way. I'm not gonna say how that's possible. I don't wanna give anyone ideas, but I can definitely see where people are coming from this. And this could potentially be a dangerous item. However, it is just kind of weird and random. And anyways, with that being said, our next story of a Rolls game being attacked. So if you guys remember, over this past few like week or so, there's been a big issue going on with Roblox UGC, where a group of people actually found like a glitch or like a patch, I guess, or like a loophole, I mean, where if an item actually has blood or like gore on it, and they just mass report it for gore, the Rolls actually takes it down like right away. And because of so much creators had their items taken down, Shark Boss here, for example, had his items taken down, it's a big issue going on. And with that being said, they've gone from doing it to items to now doing it to games as well, which is actually pretty bad. As we can see here, for some reason they keep attacking the game combat warriors and getting their icon taken down so it's actually pretty bad because not only can they get items taken down and stuff like that but they can also get icons taken down and it's a pretty big issue going on in roblox right now where this group is actually doing a lot of danger and harm and just causing a bunch of havoc they're taking out a bunch of popular items they're targeting youtubers they're targeting games now it's a big issue going on in roblox right now and honestly, this does kind of suck because a lot of the items that they started taking down have actually been, you know, good items that the that people actually put effort into, unlike most items on the catalog nowadays. And once again with the games, the icons weren't even that bad, and they're just attacking the game for no reason, it seems like. Which is pretty unfortunate and pretty dumb. And with that being said, if you enjoyed, check this video to find out how rules are actually changing forever and three major updates he just announced. I'll see you in the next one.